hello learner welcome to the session of uh, biodiversity course and this course for bsc generals my name is dr siaram i am an associate professor discipline of life science school of sciences ignu and today i am going to discuss about the virus general account and economic importance what is the objective of this session uh, uh, this teleconferencing session you will be able to learn how virus are discovered what is the structure of the viruses and how to classify the viruses after completion of this session you will be able to differentiate between the helical iso uh, icosahedral and complex symmetry and you will be able to differentiate between dna and rna viruses and after completion of this session you will be able to enlist Uh, the economic importance of the viruses virus what is the basic characteristic of the virus it is an intracellular parasite this virus is inert outside of the cell they are not able to grow inside to the they are not able to grow outside of the cells and virus are small than bacteria so if you measure the size of the bacteria uh, uh, you can see it the bacteria their size it around 1 micrometer to 2 micrometer but size of the virus it around 20 nanometer to 300 nanometer so size of the viruses is so small and they cannot be observed using the light microscope if you utilizing the analy if you utilize uh, to analyze the virus the virus cannot seen under light microscope you can analyze under the electron microscope the electron microscope is a very important instrument to analyze the uh, viruses and they replicate only inside the living cell using the machinery means they can utilize the uh, rna polymerase dna polymerase in energy system uh, from the host in in the virus contain either dna or rna but not both if you see the genetic material of the viruses and you will see it uh, either virus is dna double stranded dna or single stranded dna double stranded rna or single stranded rna but you but you never get the both dna and rna both as a genetic material in the viruses the number of virus almost 500 uh, and new virus being discovered all the times and virus can infect all form of the life including the bacteria archaea eukaryote eukaryota so these are the uh, uh, virus uh, these are the uh, various uh, form of the life like bacteria archaea eukaryota the virus can infect and the virus share gene with organism come to tree of the lives so you can see uh, in this picture uh, the Uh, three domain of the life are there one is the bacteria archaea and uh, eukaryota the virus share the gene with the particular organisms which are involved the bacteria which are involved in the archaea which are involved in the uh, eukaryota and uh, another thing i want to discuss the discovery of the virus how the virus discovered in 1982 A Russian biologist Dmitry Ivanovsky was used 
Chamberlain filter to study the TMB. He demonstrated that even after filtration, the crushed plant leaf from the diseased tobacco plant remain infectious. Means if you filter the, uh, uh, the leaf, uh, uh, crust of leaf, you will get the uh, uh, infectious uh, agent uh, after filtration of the bacterial filter. And such infectious uh, agent could be not seen on a culture medium. If you culture this infectious material, they will not culture in the, in the general medium like uh, nutrient agar or any other uh, medium are there. It, is, uh, it require a specific um, uh, organism. So ultimately, uh, you can grow it, uh, your viruses. And nothing could be seen uh, in, in such a uh, fluid with the microscope. Means if you analyze this fluid, this filtrate, bacterial filtrate, you will not get any, uh, you will not get uh, anything mm, uh, in, uh, if you analyze with the microscope. Uh, another very important scientist uh, uh, that is known as the Martinus Wiesernick, a Dutch microbiologist, uh, repeated the experiment in 19, uh, in, in 1898 of uh, Ivanovsky, he was convinced that filtrate contained a new type of infectious agent. And this discovery that filterable, non-culturable and invisible microorganisms could diffuse like a fluid through the agar gel. He, he called this fluid is a contagium Vivum fluidum, a smaller to poisonous snake venom, and he reintroduced the term virus. Uh, another very important scientist uh, who, uh, in the discovery of the virus that is known as the uh, Weldon Stanley, who crystallized the TMB, uh, uh, tobacco mozaic viruses, and proved that uh, they bear particulate and later discovered Wiesernick theory that virus bear fluid in nature. In 1998, Loeffler and Froese discovered the first animal virus by filtering the agent of fruit and mouth disease in cattle. A very important scientist uh, that is known as the Twart in 1915, a English bacteriologist discovered the class of virus that infect eat of bacterial cells. And French microbiologist D. Herley through the dis, uh, thoroughly, de, uh, thoroughly described the bacteriophages. He named this virus as a bacteriophage, uh, phase in phase to eat. Uh, another thing I want to discuss, the general account of the virus. So what is the general account of the virus? The virus exists in the two phases. Uh, one is the extracellular phase, another is the intracellular phase. In extracellular phase, the entire virus particle known as the virions. Virions, it is inert and it means no metabolic activity they are not able to grow outside of the cells and uh, they, they don't have the cytoplasm, mitochondria, any other cell organelles. So you can say it is a inert. They are not able to grow outside of the cell. Another phase is that is known as the intracellular phase. This virus particle uh, replicate using the machinery of the host cell and survive. The virus have a few or no enzyme. The number of the uh, uh, two, three, four enzymes which are involved um, in the viruses, uh, that is known as the uh, reverse transcriptase enzyme, replicase enzymes. So these are the enzymes are uh, there which are very important for the replication of the viruses. Uh, antiviral drug destroy the virus. Number of the antiviral drugs, uh, they are able to destroy it the number of the scientists uh, they are uh, using 
uh, they, they, they are able to discover the, uh, the antiviral drugs. Another thing I want to discuss, uh, another thing I want to discuss the structural feature of the viruses. One of them is the uh, viral size. So you can see it, uh, the, the size of the virus range from 20 to 300 nanometer in diameter. And virus cannot analyze under the light microscope because the light microscope, uh, their limitation is around 0.4 micrometer to 7 micrometer. You can say we can analyze uh, the bacteria only because their size is uh, one micrometer, two mi uh, uh, one micrometer to two micrometer, but we can't analyze the viruses because their size is around 20 to 300 nanometer. The most of viruses are so smaller than the bacteria. Uh, polio virus around 20 nanometer in diameters. Uh, Another is a small virus, a small uh, a smallpox virus around 200 nanometer in uh, 200 nanometer in diameter. So you can see the size of the uh, different viruses. The polio around 20 nanometer and a smallpox around 200 nanometers. Another thing I want to discuss uh, the structure of the viruses. Uh, the viruses viruses are made up of the two component. One is the protein that is known as the capsid. Another is the nucleic acid that is uh, that is DNA or RNA. You can say it is the viral genome. DNA or RNA plus capsid protein that is known as the nucleocapsid. Those virus who have nucleocapsid that is known as the naked virus. Another thing uh, uh, I want to discuss the uh, the virus, they have the nucleocapsid plus lipid membrane, glycoprotein and carbohydrate. Uh, uh, you can say it is the enveloped virus. So, uh, so here is, uh, we can categorize into two part. One is the uh, enveloped virus and second is the non-enveloped virus. Another thing I want to discuss uh, the uh, function of the capsid, which are the capsid which are present on the surface of the viruses. The capsid protect the viral genome, or you can say the uh, they are able to protect the genetic material of the uh, viruses. The uh, the viral the capsid protect from viral genome from the physical destruction and nucleus enzyme inactivations. The virus. Uh, which are very important, uh, the capsid, uh, they are protect their genomes. And it provides the site for virus to bind the specific location on the host cell. The capsid facilitate viral genetic information assembly and packaging. So in, in case of the viral packaging, the role of capsid is so important. And Capsid are the genetic material. They provoke the immune response. So you can take example of the COVID-19. There is the spike proteins are there. So spike proteins means spike projections are there. It is a specific type of protein. You can say it is a capsid. They are antigenic. They are able to pro uh, provoke the immune response inside to the body. Uh, it provides the structural symmetry to the virus. The various structural symmetry of the viruses are there, ecosahedral, helical, and mix, uh, and complex type of uh, symmetry uh, which are provided by the capsid. The capsid are able to provide the different type of the symmetrical, um, uh, structural symmetry. Another thing I want to discuss that is the viral symmetry. The viral symmetry uh, uh, is influenced by the capsid. The capsid uh, that is made up with the capsomere. Capsomere is a uh, 
uh, a building block material of the uh, capsid. Basically, it is a protein molecules, or it is responsible for the different uh, symmetry of the viruses. So, you can classify the uh, symmetry, uh, symmetry of the virus. So, one is the spiral or helical symmetry, another is the cubical or icosahedral symmetry, and third one is the complex symmetry. The, the nucleoacid and capsomere were uh, wound together to form the helix or spiral uh, symmetry. So, in this group, uh, the TMB virus, influenza virus, and rapid virus will come. So, their symmetry is a, a helical symmetry or a spiral symmetry. Another symmetry is icosahedral symmetry. In case of icosahedral symmetry, uh, icosa means 20 in Greek. Uh, it is a uh, polygon with 20, uh, with 12 vertices uh, or, uh, uh, or corners and 20 uh, facet uh, or side, example uh, adenovirus. Adenovirus is the best example of the icosahedral uh, symmetry. And third one is the complex symmetry. The virus can, virus uh, which can not shown either uh, the icosahedral or uh, helical symmetry and, uh, due to the complex in structure. Basically, uh, it is a complex type are there, uh, complex type of symmetry are there. So, it is a mixture of the helical or icosahedral symmetry. So, it is uh, uh, mixture of the two type of symmetry are there. And third one is very important part of virus that is known as the viral envelope. It is very important uh, for the viruses. The envelope of virus made up of to the lipid and glycoprotein and sometimes some carbohydrate which are involved in the uh, making of the envelope and it is derived from the plasma membrane uh, of the host cell. And viruses do not have involved, uh, uh, that uh, the virus do not have envelope uh, that is known as the naked virus. Another is the uh, enveloped virus, uh, uh, another is the uh, enveloped virus are susceptible against as uh, either chloroform or, or, or detergent. So, uh, you can recall it uh, during the COVID infection, you will wash hand with the detergent. So, ultimately, they can loss, they can destroy the, uh, their envelope, so which are very important it, uh, to control the infection. The example of the envelope virus are herpes virus, hepatitis virus, HIV virus, and uh, uh, COVID-19 virus. So, envelope is a very important part of the viruses. And another thing I want to discuss the viral nucleic acid. The viral genome is made up by either DNA or RNA, but not both. So, if you see the their genetic material in case of the uh, virus, they have only DNA or RNA, but not both. And the viral genome are usually linear, circular, and segmented. Basically, uh, uh, segmented uh, genetic material is found in the influenza virus. The segmented genome occur in a fragment two or more piece of nucleic acid code for various protein, they are joined together or ultimately they are able to replicate inside to the host cell. The most of the plant are usually single standard RNA, uh, single standard RNA viruses. Most DNA viruses have double standard, whereas most RNA have single standard as their genome. Another thing I want to discuss how to classify the viruses on the basis of the nucleic acid. So, it is uh, very important classification, well known, well documented classification 
of the viruses that is known as the Baltimore classification. The DNA and RNA virus are further subgroup based on the single standard and double standard RNA. So you can classify it into seven class of the viruses. The class first, it is a double standard DNA virus. The best example is adenovirus, herpes virus, and uh, pox virus extra. So in this case, uh, the double standard DNA which are present in the uh, viruses. So it come under category first or you can say the class first. Another is class second, the single standard uh, DNA virus. The best example is uh, parvovirus. So in this case, single standard DNA, positive strand uh, DNA which are available in their genome, it come under the class second category. Class third category, uh, uh, in this virus, uh, the double standard RNA genome are there. The best example is Rio virus and Virena virus. And you can see in this figure, it is a double standard RNA are there. So it come under to the class third um, category of the virus are there. And class fourth, uh, it is a single standard RNA genome, basically positive sense are there. So positive sense RNA, which are available in the viral genome, the best example is the uh, picorna virus and toga virus. So RNA molecule is identical with the messenger RNA. So in the host cell, the viral DNA act like a messenger RNA. It can be directly translated by the host cell or ultimately they will uh, grow inside to cell. They will replicate their genome. And another class that is known as the class fifth. Class fifth, it is a single RNA genome. Uh, it is complementary to RNA, negative sense of the RNA virus. And the best example is Robodo virus. And in this, uh, in the host cell negative sense RNA virus act as a template for the transcription to make complementary RNA, messenger RNA. After that, uh, this is translated by the host ribosome. Uh, another class, another class, uh, another class of uh, viruses on the, uh, that is known as the class uh, six. Uh, it is single uh, standard RNA genome. It convert into double standard with the help of reverse transcriptase uh, enzyme and then form the mRNA. The best example is retrovirus like HIV virus. In classif uh, in, uh, another is uh, class uh, seventh uh, 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 type of the viruses are there. So in this case, the double standard RNA genome convert to positive sense of uh, uh, single standard RNA. Positive sense single standard convert into double standard with the help of reverse transcriptase and finally transcribe to the messenger RNA. Uh, the best example uh, of this uh, group of the virus is hepidonor uh, viruses. Uh, I want to summarize um, uh, uh, my talk. Uh, 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 the virus are, uh, virus is a very small obligate, uh, um, obligate intracellular uh, um, uh, particles seen only the electron microscope. And virus are discovered by the Demetri Ivanovsky and uh, uh, Martinus uh, Vezernet. And Frederick Trott and D. Harley dis uh, discovered the bacteriophages. And you have learned the um, uh, 
Mendel Stanley for the first time crystallized TMB viruses. The capsid protect, you have learned the capsid protect, uh, the genetic material of the viruses. And, and one thing is very important that is known as the capsomere. So you have learned the capsomere is structural, uh, uh, structural and functional subunit of the capsid. It is self-assembly molecule. And virus have the different uh, symmetry such as the icosahedral, uh, by, uh, icosahedral, helical and complex symmetry. And DNA and RNA virus are subcategory into the uh, seven classes. I want to take uh, short. You're going to lead with a difference. So how do you lead with the difference? The unique attributes of the university system through which you're going to go for the management program or any other program is the multiple entry and exit. It provides flexible learning where a learner can learn at its own will and at its own pace. It offers multimodal approaches like we have MBA, the normal through the distance learning mode and through online mode. So it has a multimodal approach. It has face-to-face -face counseling. It offers web counseling also. It gives interactive satellite aided communication network through teleconferencing. And it also gives the radio counseling also. When we talk about school of management studies, it was the first school and it had the pioneer program of diploma in management. Till date, it has been offering around 14 programs in management and 13 programs in commerce disciplines. The school has international presence as well as it provides the programs in specific Asian and African countries across the globe. Now talking about Master of Business Administration. What are the objectives? What are the learning objectives of this Master of Business Administration? What are the unique features of this Master of Business Administration, which IGNO is offering? Let us see the program at a glance. The program name is MBA. And the eligibility criteria for this program is bachelor's degree, minimum of three years duration with at least 50% marks. and 45 person marks in case of the reserved category. The duration of the program is minimum two years and maximum four years. And the program fee per semester is 15,500. The total credits of the program, the total credits are 116 because there is one project course which is equivalent to two courses. So it comes out to be 29 courses. If a student wants to exit the program after completion of the specified courses available in the first and second semesters, that is 56 credits if the student completes, then there is an exit option available. The award of postgraduate diploma in management on the request of the student if the student wants to exit. Apart from this, there are four standalone PG diplomas also which are a different path. They don't fall a part of the management program. They are the standalone diplomas. That is postgraduate diploma in uh, human resource management, postgraduate diploma in financial management, postgraduate diploma in operations management, and postgraduate diploma in marketing management. So these are standalone diplomas. So the links available for the student handbook and prospectors of master of business administration. So this is all about the MBA program. Happy learning.
Okay. Uh, another another very important feature of the viruses uh, that is known as the viral enzymes. They have the viral enzymes like uh, uh, reverse transcriptase enzymes, replicase enzymes, neuroaminidase uh, enzymes. The number of the enzymes which are involved in the uh, replications or entry of the viruses are there. So one of them, I want to discuss one by one, one of them is the neuroaminidase enzymes. So it is released by the host cell and hydrolyze sialic acid from glycoprotein, project on the host cell surface resulting in spread of the virus progeny. So neuro, uh, neuroaminidase enzyme is a very important enzyme. They are able to hydrolyze sialic acid from glycoprotein. Ultimately, the virus they get entry or they are infect to another uh, host cell are there. So another very important things are there uh, that is known as the uh, hematoglutinin. Hematoglutinin bind with the group of the uh, host cell surface glycoprotein and causing the viruses to bind to the cell and infect. If you see the structure, uh, uh, it is the um, viruses, uh, it is a glycoproteins are there, the neuroaminidase uh, enzyme they will release it or ultimately the virus they get entry to the cell or they will uh, multiply inside to the cell or ultimately they will hack the machinery of the uh, host cell. Uh, another very important enzyme that is known as the viral transcriptase. The viral transcriptase enzymes, they can utilize by the viruses. Uh, mm, uh, here is the double standard uh, mm, uh, DNA viruses single standard DNA viruses and RNA viruses. The reverse uh, uh, viral transcriptase are um, very important enzyme. Uh, they can convert into the uh, messenger RNA, messenger RNA. The viral transcriptase, uh, you can say it is a DNA dependent polymerase or the enzyme that copies DNA and RNA into messenger RNA. The viral transcriptase is required for synthesis of messenger RNA from double standard or single standard or double standard RNA. Another enzyme which are very important that is known as the reverse, uh, reverse transcriptase enzymes. It is known as the RNA dependent DNA polymerase. So in this case, uh, in this case, uh, the DNA polymerase enzyme that trans transcribes single standard RNA into DNA. So it is a very important enzyme. It will work on the RNA. RNA get um, uh, uh, change into the uh, DNA. So here is very important enzymes are there that is known as the reverse transcriptase. And third one is the replicase of enzyme, replicase enzymes. The RNA replicase is an enzyme that catalyzes the replication of RNA from RNA template, uh, messenger RNA from RNA template. Uh, specifically, it catalyzes synthesis of the RNA strain complementary to given RNA template. Another very important things I want to discuss that is known as the viral ta taxonomy. How can classify the virus? What is the taxonomy behind the viruses. Uh, the classification of virus uh, has been developed by ICTB, International Committee for Taxonomy of the Viruses. So you can uh, divide, uh, you can classify virus in the form of the family, subfamily, genus and species name. For example, family uh, pox veridi, subfamily chlor chlorodoproxvarini, uh, and genus orthoproxovirus. 
species pox virus example cow pox vaccinia in virola major uh, causative agent of smallpox the virus classification is based on the uh, host organisms and structure of the viruses and type of disease cause and mode of the transmission in viral genome sequences and composition of virion and means uh, nucleic acid capsid in block and enzyme so these are the various things uh, which are uh, take in mind that uh, which are very important for the uh, classification of the viruses dna viruses the virus with double standard dna none of the known double standard uh, uh, double standard viruses has a lipid envelope the viruses with the double standard genome shows the variation in the genome size uh, it is very interesting dna virus can cannot infect higher plant except reverse transcriptase viruses most of bacteria of us 95 Five percent are tail face with double standard genome. The virus share genome with the bacteria, archaea, and eukaryotes. Uh, another thing I want to discuss that is uh, the structure of the bacteriophage. The bacteriophage is a tadpole-like structure with with a icosahedral head. So you can see uh, this icosahedral. Uh, Head are there. So it is a nine. Uh, uh, it is a head, uh, a cosahedral. Uh, it is a sheath, contractile sheath are there. It is a neck. It is a head, or it is a end plate and uh, end fibers are there. So you can see the structure of the bacteriophage. The tail of bacteriophage contain sheath. basal plate and tail fiber which are very important for the bacteriophage the contractile sheath which consists 24 annular ring you can see the structure these are the sheath contractile sheath are there it is uh, around 24 uh, ring are there the digital end the this is the digital end contain the hexagonal basal plate with spikes it help in transfer of the genetic material to the host cell another is rna virus for the survival of the rna virus require a host cell i have already discussed it the host cell the machinery to replicate dna but not rna the host cell then produce the genetic material example rna for new viruses in rna viruses the rna is replicated by the replicase that is synthesized in the host cell the other viruses virus in code reverse transcriptase convert viral rna into dna which then replicate by the host cell so here is the host cell is very important they can allow the replication of the rna viruses the structure of the tmb the tmb have the positive sense single stranded rna along with the helical symmetry you can see the helical symmetry uh, here is the helical symmetry are there it is a scale 100 uh, uh, nanometers are there uh, it is a uh, 100 angstrom are there so you can see it is a the helical structure are there it is a uh, uh, it is rod shape and size of the tmb around 300 nanometer in diameter in about uh, 15 to uh, diameter about 15 to 70 uh, 17 nanometer size of the central core around the 4 nanometer in diameter the size it is a central core their size around 4 nanometer in diameter tmb genome encode only for four kind of proteins the two component of rna polymerase and other two component of viral capsid 
अदर थिंग अदर वायरस लाइक थिंग सब वायरल पार्टिकल तो देर आर दी टू वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सब वायरल पार्टिकल वन इज नोन एज दी बायरोइड्स एनदर इज दी प्रियॉन्स तो दीज आर दी टू वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बोथ आर दी इन्फेक्शस दे कैन कॉज दी डिजीज इन दी ह्यूमन एंड प्लांट तो आई वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस वन बाई वन फर्स्ट वन इज दी बायरोइड्स In 1971, T.O. Diner discovered the small infectious agent then virus. So you can see the structure of the virus. It is a single standard RNA, RNA containing loops. These are the various loops are there. You can see the loops are there. Uh, loops they are joined together. Due to this loop, the nucleus and other activity will not take place ultimately uh, this viroid will not degrade easily the viroid are low molecular weight single standard and pass through the bacterial filter many scientists believe the viroids are primitive uh, virus the viroids are not degraded by enzyme due to very uh tight secondary structure so you can see in this figure it is a very tight secondary structures are there so ultimate uh, due to this secondary structure the nucleus activity will not take place on the viroids because it is a single standard rna and they have the a lot of loop are there or uh, you can see uh, this loop or uh, this the base pair they are the Uh, uh, joined together. Uh, Viroid involved in plant disease. There are the various uh, plant diseases are there which are caused by the viroids. Uh, the plant spindle uh, tuber viroids (PSTB). PSTB infect with the uh, both potato and tomato. The citrus, exocortis, and cucumber ill fruit disease are there. So it is caused by the viroids. Another is prions. Prions uh, uh, in 1982, Stanley B. Uh, Prusiner uh, discovered the uh, prions and uh, received the Nobel Prize. Prions are made up by the protein uh, only. No genetic material are there. So basically, uh, prions are the proteins uh, no genetic material means dna rna which are not involved in the uh, in the uh, prions it is wrongly folded protein and able to damage neurons and uh, neurons in animal and humans disease such as the uh, cr jacob disease cjd uh, disease in human are caused by the prions prions are resistant to various chemical and physical treatment like heat uv radiation and formaldehyde another very important thing i want to discuss that is known as the uh, uh, economic importance what is the economic importance of the viruses economic uh, here is i want to discuss there is the some economic loss due to the viral disease and some benefit of uh, the uh, some viruses are there i want to discuss one by one the economic loss due to the viral disease the first one is the plant disease majority of uh, the plant uh, majority of the virus infecting plants the viral uh, virus they can infect the plants the majority of the disease which are caused by the uh, viruses the insect act as a vector they pick up virus in their mouth and spread them to the plant the pesticide can be used to control the insect ultimately virus will not spread or you, know, you can control with the help of the pesticides in few of the plant disease caused by the plant virus are tmb and uh, potato viruses uh, cauliflower mosaic virus cmb virus which are well known viruses uh, they can cause the disease 
and mozaic virus of the cucumber and lettuce and tomato benchy top disease. Another is animal disease. Uh, it is uh, another economic loss due to the viral disease. Uh, the foot and mouth disease by the picorna virus. Uh, food mouth disease are highly contagious disease and is spread in the buffaloes, goat, sheep uh, and pig. And milk production is decreased due to the food and mouth disease and reduced meat production uh, meat production and increase the cost of the cost of the vaccination. Other uh, economically important viral disease are um, are uh, avian influenza or bird flu, influenza virus, rabies virus, bovine viral diarrhea, and new castle disease in poultry. And third one is the human disease virus. Uh, viral disease such as the AIDS, influenza, dengue, polio, smallpox, hepatitis are well known. So they can lose the human lives uh, due to their disease. And the sudden uh, emergence of the Ebola viruses uh, which cause the intensive uh, bleeding inside uh, and outside of the body. In COVID-19, you know very well, it is a, a highly uh, contagious respiratory uh, diseases caused by the new corona SARS-CoV-2. And some emerging viruses cause loss of the economy uh, to the country. Vaccination remain a preferred strategy for controlling viral disease. Another we can utilize uh, in the vaccine production. The conventional vaccine can be made, um, made using the live attenuated virus. Uh, example, rabies, measles, mumps, and rubella virus. Uh, we can make it uh, with the help of the virus. Uh, virus uh, we can um, uh, uh, attenuate it, uh, the virus or ultimately we can make a vaccine of the uh, particular viruses against particular disease. Another is gene therapy. Gene therapy involved uh, in replacement of defective gene with the functional ones. In gene therapy, viral vector are used, adeno uh, viral vector, adeno associated viral vector, lentiviral vector and retroviral vector we can utilize uh, basically, uh, we can utilize in the gene therapy. Gene therapy is largely used in the cancer treatment, bone marrow transplant in, in blood cancer. And third one is the uh, cancer therapy. The virus can cause the cancer that is known as the oncovirus. Some virus can cure uh, cancer known as the anti-cancer vaccine. Hepatitis B virus vaccine uh, used for hepatic cancer. And human papilloma vaccine uh, used for cervical cancer. So we can utilize the some viruses for the cancer therapy. And fourth one is the bacteriophage therapy. Viruses that infect the replicate only bacterial cells known as bacteriophage. The bacteriophage can use to successfully treat E. coli and staphylococcus infection. It is a very promising candidate for the uh, removal of the bacteria even inside to the body. The role of viruses in research. The bacteria Bacteriophages are the routinely used for, uh, use viral vector in genetic engineering. Both lambda phage and M13 phage are bacteriophages that specifically infect the E. coli. And both bacteriophages can be used to cloning uh, vector uh, in recombinant DNA technology and genetic engineering. So basically in recombinant DNA technology in, uh, in genetic engineering, we can utilize the viruses uh, such as the lambda phase and M13 phase, which are commonly used. Uh, 
they are able to infect E. coli. And another, um, uh, the virus can be utilized in, uh, in, 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 in the diagnosis. Uh, in the diagnosis, virus are able to produce the antibodies. It can be used in the southern blotting and detection of the pathogen. And virus can be used in cloning and DNA and RNA sequencing of the disease. And viral biopesticide and single microbial biopesticide may control only a portion of the pest, uh, in portion of the pest present on the crop. So the R and D is going on the on the uh, various virus that can use as a potential biopesticides, and baculovirus are most important group of the virus used as a biopesticide. Lastly, I want to summarize uh, uh, my talk. Uh, the T phage are a specific class of large complex bacteriophage with icosahedral head double standard DNA with uh, characteristic uh, head of uh, head and tail structure. You have also learned the TMB has a helical symmetry with a positive sense single standard RNA. And you have also learned the viruses are economically important as they cause loss of the disease. And it play a major beneficial uh, role in medicine, research and diagnosis.